Hi, Slavin. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can, Joe. Cheers. Um, I mean, the scoreline says 5-2, but that's incredibly harsh on your side, isn't it? Particularly after that first half performance. Yeah, first half, uh, yeah, in the second half, you know, when you had 2-1 down uh, away with one man down, then anything can happen. You know, it can be, you, you can imagine it, it can be five, you know. Uh, but, uh, of course, we are extremely disappointed with the results uh, that we are going home with anything. Uh, we, we, I mean, with nothing, but uh, especially after that first half performance, I mean, to be 2-1 down and one man down after these 45, those 45 minutes, it's very frustrating. Uh, the way we played, the way we were tactically, the way we were pressing, the way we were with and without the ball, uh, chances created on a counter attacks, on a long attacks, stopping them, it was like great performance of course knowing that they have on on few positions uh, extremely quality players that can make the difference and, and they've done it for a second goal to be fair but apart from that we were uh, we were totally in control of the game and to be 2-1 down as I said with one man down uh, it was very very frustrating for us and I think we didn't deserve it but in many cases in many things we have uh, we have only ourselves to blame I know um, for a good hour or so you're happy with the performance against Leicester, but why today did you have more attacking threat, do you think? Because we were more brave. It was the same system and I saw that against Leicester. I saw that, I saw that uh, uh, patterns and channels and bouncing the ball and getting into positions where we could hurt Leicester with a bit more bravery and with a bit better decision making or technically better uh, performance and this was today it was obviously that 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 we had those spaces even more even more especially on our left side and we detected that as a as as a possibility to have it if we are on fire if we are brave if we have good distance uh, between the players and we had it all and we were using that in a in a in a in really good way Still, at the same time, being being uh, in a good shape when we were defending. Is it um, fair to say that the red card was was the turning point? Sorry. The fair to say the red card was the turning point in terms of the red card. how the game the turning point. Out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it it affected the game massively. You know, to go by two one and. Uh, 2-1 and a red card, it's very difficult to come back. We came back for a short period of time, but, but, but it's very, it's extremely difficult to, to, to come back uh, with one man down here yeah, for such a long, long period of the game. You seem disappointed with the red card, but it did look like one. How, how do you see it? A red card? I didn't see yeah. it live because, because I, w I was following the ball. The, well, the problem is that... Uh, First of all, we got only ourselves to blame. You can't do those things on on any level of football. So Kiro done done a couple of mistakes. His first mistake is when Hamas clipped him. He 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 stayed on his feet, which which uh, and then he reacted, and based on that he didn't give referee any other chance, any, any other option, but to give him red. But if he was a uh, little bit more, I don't know what, more crafty or uh, clever or... Savvy. What, savvy. Savvy. If he had gone down after James clipped him, it would... I, I don't think it would be red for James. It would be definitely yellow, but maybe yellow, definitely yellow, but most definitely not red. Definitely, definitely not red for, for, for Gibbs after that. But he done the worst situation. I mean, the worst option, which was to not to go down and then to react with his hand. And if you do that, and especially if you have a player who is waiting for that, then it's straight red and you can't complain. Fine. Finally for me, can I just ask about the players that weren't involved today? Conor Gallagher, Charlie Austin and Kamal Grzycki? Conor Gallagher, uh, his paperwork was not done. He would be here with us if the paper was 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 done on time. 
and all others uh, decisions are basically all other players apart from Hegazi and Kenneth Zohor were fit it was just uh, football decisions ok Joe, Byrne, Joe Chapman are you anything to add to that Oh yes, Lavin. Uh, can I just very quickly check what what was it that angered you with with the referee at, at half time that, that caused him to give you the red card? I asked him. You know, I was very frustrated, and I asked him before I talked to my players. I asked him uh, because the guys were telling me that before their first goal, uh, it was a foul on Darnell, and I saw it afterwards, and and it was a foul. If they were checking so many times, uh, was it a goal or not? It's it's clearly that the, that the reason Darnell headed that ball towards our goal is because, because he got fouled from Everton player who I think went for a ball, but he didn't get a ball and, 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 and he lashed in our player. So I, I asked him about that decision, but he didn't want to talk to me. He didn't want to talk to me. I think as a, not I think, I, I know as a manager, you have, if you are in a good way, if you are not crossing the line, that you have a, that you have ever right to talk to the referee, especially at the half time. There's no people around, nobody's there. Give me your opinion. Give me your uh, your explanation. I didn't swear, but uh, he didn't want to have time with me at all.